Hi folks, uh, we're looking inside, I took the cover off of one of my uh, wheelchair motors and we're looking inside of it right now and if you can see on the commutator it's uh, it, it really needs to be resurfaced for full power and uh, for smooth operation and that's something I wouldn't really be able to do now I'm gonna clean that commutator a little bit with with alcohol and also the brushes and we're gonna see what happens here now it may be difficult to tell the difference in this video I can tell myself since I can see the real thing but it does look better than it did when I started and here's a q-tip and a rag I use that rag to wipe off the, the brushes and there's a q-tip with all the, the crud I took off the commutator and uh, I'm going to try to run it now and see what it sounds like. So I have it all hooked up now and I'm going to turn it on. And you can see, if you watched my last video, you could hear that this motor sounded terrible. And it's a whole lot more quiet now. Uh, I don't know if it's really any stronger or not but it's a lot better than it was, at least it sounds a whole lot better. So, that's, uh, well, now I'm getting some squeaks. But it's still, it's a whole lot better than it was. Uh, now, I'm only running it on 12 volts right now. And I even have the, I have the gearbox engaged. Now it's starting to squeak. Maybe I'll hook it up to 24 volts and see what happens. So now I have it hooked up to 24 volts. I'm going to turn it on and we'll see what happens here. And that seems to be working a whole lot better. Uh, it really does than what I had previously. Oh, now that sounds funky. Uh, that doesn't sound good at all. So, let's see what happens. So, I've been uh, messing around with this thing for a while now, and, uh, taken these, these brushes out and put them in a couple of times and when I first started up it all seems fine and then after I run it for a little while it seems like these brushes are uh, not seated properly in some fashion now what I'm fooling around with here that's the actual spring it's this plastic spring uh, is pretty funky and I'll take this brush out of the, the holder there and show that to you so here I've got the actual brush out and you see the, uh, the holder right there in the center and this brush just fits down inside of it uh, there's no adjustment you can't turn it around or anything like that. Uh, it just fits inside there and that's it. That's what you have. So you can't switch them from side to side or anything like that. Basically you're stuck with what you have. So I don't know if this motor can really be made to work. Uh, I'd need to get I'd need to get new brushes to see if that's possible and I don't know 
how easy that would be to do. I haven't looked into it, but uh, I don't think this motor can really be made to work the way that it is. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.